The next pattern we are going to discuss about is the service locator pattern. 15 to 20 years back when Java development was its in, in its initial stages, doing even simple things like a JNDA lookup was complex. You had to kind of do a JNDA lookup in almost every one of your DAOs. There was nothing like dependency injection present earlier and so it was very difficult to do things like that. Even the same is the case with doing a JMS or even talking to a EJB. Was we use something called a service locator. The job of a service locator is to be able to identify a distributed resource or a JNDI resource. So the service locator would kind of locate it and give it back to the DAO so that the DAO can use it. So either the business layer or the data layer would use the service locator to look up of a distributed or a JNDI resource we need. But in these days, this has become very easy. With frameworks like Spring and concepts like dependency injection, the framework would look it up for us and it would automatically wire it in to wherever we would want to be wiring it in. So it's in these days, service locator is kind of an obsolete thing. I mean, we very rarely th see things like this with dependency injection being so famous now. We'll talk about dependency injection a little later. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.